For as long as I can remember, Steve Fox has always been a top tier in Tekken. He always took a large amount of skill to reach these heights though due to his hard to execute game plan that relies on timing for the most part but you were always rewarded for trying to get good with this character even if the journey there was pure pain. This is not the case in Tekken 8. Steve in my opinion is barely a functional character in his current state and it needs to be changed and I can already see the comments saying Oh, there he goes, downplaying characters, skill issue, get good bro, no. I'm fully aware of how good my character is. I am objectively bad with Reyna. I'm in blue ranks, but everyone is boosted in Tekken 8. I should not have got Fujin as fast as I did in this game, but I did. But anyways, I am objectively bad with Reyna. But I know that she is 100% an S tier character, maybe on the lower end of S tier, but she is in S tier. Steve on the other hand is 100% bottom 2 in this game. And the reason he's not bottom 1 is because Zafina got the exact same treatment as him and she too is barely a functional character. Let's just get right into this. Firstly, I don't want you to think I'm exaggerating when I say this. But Steve has no lows. Steve has no mids. Steve has no homing moves. Steve has no launcher. Steve has no panic moves. Steve has no punishment. Are you aware that Steve could not launch rage arts? Somehow, some way, Steve has managed to be a functional character just due to how strong his highs and stances are. But in Tekken 8, it's just not cutting it anymore. Steve's only good mid is quarter circle forward 1. And I say good lightly, because it's just okay. It's pretty much a death fist, except it forgets to do death fist damage. It is a heat engager, but Steve's heat is so shit, it's like... I'll get into Steve's heat in a moment. All of Steve's lows are complete butt juice. Down 1 does no damage and is minus 2. Quarter circle forward 2 is plus 2 but it's 19 frames. That is all Steve has to work with in the low department. It's atrocious. Combine this with the fact that quarter circle forward one is crap. Players have every reason to duck Steve. This way you're punishing all of Steve's terrible lows while avoiding all of his highs. And if you get hit by a quarter circle forward one, who cares because it's still your turn. Like I said, this was fine until Tekken 8 until they gave every character 17,000 ways to get out of pressure. This means that if I do manage to get my opponent in some highs, he's either one, doing just a normal power crush because everyone has a good power crush apparently, except Steve may I add, two, he's doing a heat burst which also has armor, three, they're just going to find a way out of your pressure because Steve doesn't actually have a mix. Unless he's in peekaboo where he kind of has mixes. Steve is playing at the pace of Tekken 7 and Tekken 8. You have to outplay your opponent twice over just to get any wins with this character. If I go against an Azu Senna, I can do well with my peekaboo pressure. I might get a hard read on a back one. Nice. Azu Senna will get two mix ups right and I die. She has a guaranteed way to force those mix-ups on me just by clicking while running 3-2 in a game where running moves are easy. Practically every character in this game has some way of free offense by creating certain situations. Steve doesn't have this. Steve is still in Tekken 7. Steve doesn't have any real ways to even steal turn back, like most Tekken 8 characters. What am I going to do? Back 1. Oh wait, he blocked that because I'm Steve. Oh wait, now he's blocking my flicker moves. Oh wait, now it's his turn. Now I guess I'll die. In Tekken 8, practically every character in the game has access to some type of 50-50. Steve does not have this, you can total Steve no issue. This is where I get into probably the biggest problem with Steve and why he is still playing Tekken 7 and Tekken 8. Steve actually did get new stuff in Tekken 8. His big addition is Lionheart stance. In this stance he gets a high guard break which is good right? A mid launcher and a mid check. It sounds like a 50-50 right? No, you can power crush every single option out of this stance. And you know why you can do that? Yes, 
every single one of Steve's stances, he can block him, except this one. <laughs> now, I do want to mention that there is a tech which allows Steve to transition from Lionheart into Peekaboo, but the input is extremely hard. This means that you can block out of Lionheart and even throw punish your power crush. However, it's still ass because the throw has to come out instantly after the cancel, which means if your opponent just wanted to duck your guard break, you're still getting launched. If your opponent just doesn't power crush, they just break the 1 plus 2 throw because they know that that's the only throw that you can do in this situation is terrible. This stance is literally a joke. Nobody struggles defending against this stance, it doesn't happen. Steve's heat is trash, it's, it's actually a joke how bad it is. Steve and Heek gets access to an unbreakable throw. In fact, it's just a grab. Think of it as an unbreakable mix-up starter. In fact, you know what it basically is. It's Marduk's tackle. It puts you in a three-way mix-up that you can guess a break and get out of. But the initial grab is unbreakable which is different from Marduk, but, but you get where I'm going. Now you would think that this is fantastic because of how good Marduk's tackle was in Tekken 7, right? No, because it's a fucking high. The grab is a high. It's not even a mix up with Ducking 2, because you can still guess the grab completely and Steve wasted his heat. It's so bad. Devil Jin and June have full screen heat smashes. That fucking life steal. And this is what Steve gets. Fucking teeny Marduk. It's a joke. Don't even get me started on the heat smash, it's so crap. No range, average damage for a heat smash, but on block forces you into Lionheart. You have to go into it, you can't stop it. What this means is, if your opponent is in rage and they block your heat smash, they get a free rage art, it's pathetic. Steve doesn't work. Tekken 8 balancing so far has been a joke, and the whole we're playing the arcade version of the game until the next balance patch is a joke, it's cope. This is what you have testers for. These guys are stupid. I can play against June for 0.5 seconds to tell you that her heat smash has no place in this game. I can tell you in 0.5 seconds that there is no reason to have a stance where every option can be power crushed. This is Tekken Tag Balancing. You think that Dragon Orb down back 3 plus 4 is balanced and okay, but Steve's best load needs to be 19 frames. I can't be asked, I'm out. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, comment. Until next time, donate to my Steve GoFundMe. We need all the help we can get, truly.